The detested principal of a boarding school is the target of a murderous scheme concocted by both his wife and his mistress in this French classic that blends murder mystery with a ghost story. When dealing with films that rely on a patiently unfolding mystery, it's better to say as little as possible, so I will keep the synopsis brief. Christina and Nicole, a wife and mistress respectively of a much-hated man, conspire to murder the cruel abusive fiend. After just one scene with the dude, you will already be on their side 100%. In true thriller fashion, their perfect plot and alibis are established, and we watch with bated breath, hoping they can pull it off as a number of setbacks become apparent. Even when things seem to be going to plan, there's always another twist around the corner. From the halfway mark, the film shifts steadily from a crime thriller towards the horror genre, culminating with a finale that is among the greatest scenes of the decade, horror or otherwise. The ending is blessed with some unforgettable imagery, masterfully executed after two hours of pitch-perfect atmosphere and rising suspense but I won't show you, in case you haven't seen it. Indeed, such imagery would have been ideal for this video's thumbnail, but alas, just as the film itself recommends after it finishes, I don't want to spoil it for others. What I can say is that this is just a beautifully made movie through and through. Putting aside the unravelling mystery for one moment, it also feels at home with other post-war European cinema. Obviously, the murder plot and spookier scenes would not be found dead in an Italian neorealist film, but the noticeable lack of music keeps it grounded, and the long shots of quaint French villages and scenes of bumbling tenants endlessly discussing the rent share some of their qualities. At the risk of being predictable, and probably just like everyone else who mentions this film, we should mention the Hitchcock connection. The director, Clouseau, who is often referred to as France's equivalent to the Master of Suspense, had just come off finishing The Wages of Fear, another thrilling masterpiece and one of my favourites of French cinema. His wife gave him the source novel, and after basically tearing through it in one sitting overnight, he optioned the rights in the morning. As the story goes, Hitchcock was also gunning for the rights, but missed out by only a few hours. Whether the tale is true or not, you can easily see how it could be. From the initial scheme to the sneaky little tricks at the audience's expense, to the horror climax, this is the most Hitchcockian film that Hitchcock never made. Not so eager to miss out again, Alfred Hitchcock snapped up the rights to the author's next work, which he soon adapted into one of his all-time achievements, Vertigo. The film would not get an English language version until the 90s, when it was remade in Hollywood featuring the inspired casting of Sharon Stone as Nicole. By all accounts, you're much better off sticking with the original. After all, Psycho's author Robert Block named Diabolic his favourite horror movie of all time. Now that is a recommendation. <laughs>